Hey everybody, Scott Detweiler here. Uh, we talk about AI on this channel, obviously, and working with Photoshop and just generating AI in general. But one of the things you can do with it is you can actually make things. So I don't think a lot of you have watched. I've been making a Catan board uh, that's custom and I've been using generative AI to kind of help me design the tiles. So I kind of wanted to talk about that project a bit today because we move through AI and we talk about, oh, I made this picture, I made this picture, and how much of that did you really make or how much of that did a computer make? But what I'm doing is I'm using that as inspiration to make these. So this is a Catan tile. These are the outside pieces. I actually put magnets in these because they can hook together, which is one of the more annoying things if you've played this game. The board tends to float. Uh, so I've been working on a bunch of these. So there's a lot of pieces that go into this set. And uh, overall, I'm just kind of having fun with it. It's uh, kind of a physical project. Uh, the next one for me is going to be actually a coin. Um, really big into, uh, there's a book called Dungeon Crawler Carl, which I've been enjoying the audiobook for, and the new one just came out. And I've been kind of looking at that going, hmm, I kind of want to make something that'd be intrinsic to that book. And so I want to make a drink token for one of the bars in the game. Uh, so I thought that'd be kind of fun. So I'm using generative AI to kind of go through again and give me inspiration for coin designs, things that maybe a coin might look like. I can give it some elements and kind of say, this is what I'm looking for. And it would generate some pictures of coins. Now I'm going to take those into ZBrush probably or Blender, uh, probably a combination of the two, and then build out that coin. And then I'm going to print it. Uh, so I have a 3D printer. Um, I have a, uh, a new one that I actually just got during the Amazon sale. So I was able to pick up one of the D2s. So I'm going to use that uh, to make the coin. And then I want I kind of want to cast it, but I don't have uh, a kiln or any of that kind of thing. And my wife is like staring at me going, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I don't know. I just got crazy ideas for making stuff. I mean, I make earrings and make soap and make all kinds of things. Almost all of my hobbies are tactile because I want to get away from the computer and do something physical. And it's an opportunity to do that. So get me creative using AI, but yet uh, using it in a physical way to make something. So I kind of wanted to show uh, what I was working on uh, so you can kind of get an idea there. So I'm, I've switched from my uh, Xtool D1 Pro that I bought. I was sent an Otour Laser Master 3 from ZBanks. I loved it. And I did a review on it a few months ago when I said that I really liked it. I would show you that it is the one I'm using now. I actually put the, the laser uh, that I bought, I put that on the floor. So it's it's on the floor, it's available if I need it, uh, but I think I might actually give it to the local library or something like that. I'm just not using it. I use that that Otour so much more. And then I have a 20 watt head for it now as well. Um, now I don't use the 20 watt all the time, mostly because my board game pieces are designed for a 10 watt laser and I'm consistent with all the pieces. of a, The Catan board has a certain depth that I have to cut into the wood in order to uh, drop the magnets in the corner for example. So I want to be consistent and I don't want to start with a more powerful laser on the same wood and then get a different result, which of course I would. Uh, so I've been doing testing on trying to figure out what the 20 watt and how it behaves versus the 10 watt, uh, but a fantastic tool, much faster, much faster uh, than the X tool was. So I've been very happy with that. Uh, but here's some pictures of the pieces as I've been kind of working on it. But I kind of wanted to give you an idea of where you can take journey of AI and apply it to things that you're really working on. So it's a little bit different you know, everybody has their skill set and where they want to play with it. Uh, but for me, I like the little fiddly, super detailed kind of thing, which is why I love Photoshop and photography in general, uh, because it really kind of feeds into that whole thing. Uh, so it's it's just using AI in a physical way and turning it into something that you're using it for inspiration, which is exactly what it should be. Um, I don't generate AI images and then I'm done. I always want to play with them because I get pleasure through that. Now, maybe that doesn't please you. Maybe you're a person who just really likes working with prompt engineering and figuring out how to make the models do different things. And that's fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But to me, I really like the fiddly. Let's make a great picture. Let's make it super detailed. Let's get in there and kind of dig around. But then can we apply it to woodworking? Can we apply it to, to different things? So I want to get a CNC machine next. I want to play with that. And my, my setup in my garage is not fancy. It's just on a shelf. I don't have like a big workshop. I just dedicated a shelf in the garage to say, this is where I'm going to work on stuff. And my wife just stays away from it because there's oftentimes like resin or something else. She's like, she knows it's not supposed to be there. There's a laser warning sign that hangs up in the black trash bag I pulled down. So if she pulls the car into the garage, she's not like, oh my God, there's a laser. <laughs> so you've got all these things that you have to control. But if you have a limited amount of space, it doesn't mean that you can't be creative with it. Anyway, that's what I had for an update for today and I'll let you know where things are on the Catan board. Thank you, Z-Banks, for sending me that laser. I have used it so much and really love it. Great product. And as I said, the 10 and 20 watt versions are now available. And I'll put links down below. Uh, they are referral links. So if you end up getting a laser, it does help the channel a little bit. And I really appreciate that. Uh, but it's a great opportunity for you to try and make something physical with your AI, generative AI ideas. So everybody take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you all next time.